do the dinosaur. Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, starting a new series. This is going to be cool. It is Antique Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm going to be showing you guys something antique. It can be cameras, old video stuff, it could be cassette tapes, could be uh, TVs, could be anything, could be video games. Um, I just decided to start this because I am really into antiques and I hope some of these, some people share that hobby. Um, so, uh, I like collecting cameras a lot of the time, yeah, I really do, and I have a lot of them, so you'll see them on there. So today, with me, I have a Bell & Howell 252 8mm movie camera. Uh, this is pretty cool, it's, um, and, uh, so you just got your regular lens here, it's just the original lens there, uh, we got uh, the dial for the, the brightness, or how dark and bright it should be. And, uh, the, uh, player. Or the start button. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this is how much- so here, right here, is for how much, uh, film time you have left. Um, yeah, and here's the crank for the, uh, so just winding it up so it can, uh, so it can actually play. Uh, Yes, it is not battery powered. This is how they used to be. Um, the viewfinder here. And, um, the, uh, uh, the film, uh, case. So, I actually do have some film in this one, and I can show you guys that in a minute. Okay, so, uh, this is the inside of this, so I can just take this out and this. Okay. So, this is pretty, uh, uh, this is, uh, um, the old film stuff. Or for the, uh, how to load it. So, the empty spool, which is actually this one in this case, but normally it would be this one. Like, this one, you it would come with this. Uh, this one would hold the film, but since I've ran this film, it's been exposed, so don't worry. Um, uh, since I've I've already rolled this onto this, uh, that's why that's like that. So, normal, a little bit of technical difficulty, sorry about that, but, uh, so, this, uh, empty spool would actually go here. Right. Right, let me see if this will go on here. See, yeah, right there. It would go right there. And, uh, see, when you're doing this on the other side, and this is the film, you can't put this on here. You, you can't, it won't allow you. It's only doing that so you can put it on this one. See, if you, if you, uh, try to put it on this one, it won't work. It just doesn't work. And, um... So, I can show you how to load this. It's pretty simple. Uh, I've done this uh, a few times. It's, it's pretty easy. You just, so you snap that out. Hopefully, so it's just like that. Um, and you put this, uh, the film uh, one in here. Just put that right there. Okay. And um, make sure it's just, that's the right way. Anyway, you just get it to the point where the film uh, starts right here, and it goes like that. And it just goes around, around right there, through there. I'll fast forward that really quick. Anyway, you put it to where it's like right here, this is the film right here. So it like goes here. And then this, you put it on this right, um, right there. You put it through right there, and uh, then put it on here, and then I'll fast forward that really quick. To the point where the film is going through here like that. And you just want to wrap it around a couple times just to be kind of safe. You know, just so it doesn't uh, go like that, and you can go ahead and just shut that. And when it does this, it should... Oh no! Something went wrong. It's very, uh... There we go. Okay, 
I doubt it. Why isn't this turning? There we go. Oh, I just ran out of a... Uh... I'll see if I can get this running for you guys again. And anyway, it should run like this. Ugh. And it should turn it. If it's not. Anyways, just, there we go. Like that. I was being really stubborn there for a minute, but... That's pretty much how to, uh, start my review on a, um... Bell and Howell 252 8mm, uh, movie camera. So, thank you guys for joining me on the, uh, Antique Tuesday. I will see you in the next Antique Tuesday next week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. See you later, yo.